In today's video, we'll show you how to create this simple budget tracker using Microsoft Excel, which is useful to track your income and expenses, no matter if you're a young adult, working professional, or anyone in general. This budget is very simple, straightforward, and you can build it in just a few moments. So let's walk you through the steps. Starting from a new Excel file, let's go up here to cell A1 and type out my budget tracker and maybe change the font to something bigger. Next, let's click down here and type out the month we want to start with. So as a finer point moving forward, you can copy the sheet to use it for upcoming months, but for right now, let's go with January. Next, let's create an area for our income and expenses. So how about we click in this cell and type expenses, amount and category, then jump over a column or so, type out income, amount, and while we're at it, let's widen the column a bit. From there, how about we make the text bold, then color code them by making the expenses red and the income green. Maybe change the font color to make it something more legible if we want. Next, how about we jump down here and type out totals, make the font bold. And since we're here, how about we highlight these three cells, apply a top border, then let's do the same over here. Okay, the next step is to create a formula to add up our expenses. So we can type out equal, sum, open parentheses. Then let's highlight our cells. Next, let's do the same thing in our income column and we'll type out equal sum, open parentheses, then highlight the cells that we want, press enter. Okay, that looks good. We're going to want our numbers to be shown in currency. So let's highlight a chunk of our cells and then apply a currency format. And how about we do the same thing over here. For this simple budget, let's create a summary area by going over here into this cell and type out total income, then press enter. And we can type out total expenses in the next row. How about we make the font bold? And while we're here, how about we apply some shading so it makes it easier to read? And we can make the income cell green and make the expense red. Next, we're going to want to show our income and expenses in the summary section. To do that, how about we create some links? Let's click in cell J6 and type an equal sign. Then cruise down here and click on cell G25 to pull in our income. Then do a repeat for the expenses. Let's type an equal sign then go down here and click on cell C25 and press enter. All right, the next step in our budget is to categorize our expenses. And there's a few different terms you can use to classify them. For today, how about we go with essential, lifestyle, and savings. Essentials are your expenses that must be paid. For example, housing, groceries, electric bill, gas, etc. The lifestyle categories are anything you do to enhance the quality of your life. For example, dining out, subscribing to streaming services, any entertainment, hobbies, etc. And the last category is going to be your savings, which is used for retirement, emergency funds, investments, and so on. To set these categories, we'll use data validation to create a dropdown, then use conditional formatting to make things easier to read. Let's select this chunk of cells, then go up and click on data, data validation. In a dialog box, go ahead and choose list, then click in the source field and type the following essential, lifestyle, and savings, making sure each one is separated by a comma. Now, if we go over and click in the category column, you can see the list of choices. The next step is to add some coloring to the cells so we can distinguish the categories at a glance. Make sure the column is selected, then click on conditional formatting, highlight cells, text that contains. In the field, let's type our first category of essential and set the color to light red with a dark text. Next, we'll do rinse and repeat for savings. And how about we set the color to green with dark text. And one more time for the lifestyle. And how about we go with this pale color. Now, if we test this, when we make a choice, the shading will appear. Not too bad. So that part's done. Okay, the next part is to create an area for our budget goals and the actual expenses, since this is very commonplace in most budgets. How about we click here and we can type out goals in this cell. Then jump next door and list out our categories. In case you're wondering, the purpose of this section is for you to determine how much of your income goes into each of these three categories. And this is usually done on a percentage basis. For example, it's common to have 50 to 60% of your income go towards the essentials because these are the non-negotiables in life. And the remaining percentages is at your discretion. In our case, let's say we want 60% of our income for the essentials, 20% for our lifestyle, and the remaining 20% for savings. And we can type out those percentages here. 
The next step is to create a calculation that will show us each number. To create the formula, type an equal sign, then go click on your income, and we're going to want the cell locked in place so we can press F4 to create the absolute reference. From there, we want to multiply our income by the percentage. So we'll click on the savings percentage, press enter, and there we go. Next, just copy the formula down another two rows and we can see the dollar amounts for each of our goals. Taking things for a quick test drive, if we have an income of 2,500, it looks like things are working. All right, the next thing we want to do is figure out how much we actually spent this month. There are a few ways to do this, but probably the most effective is to use the sum if because it allows us to add up the items that fall into a specific category. Put another way, we're going to build a formula that will just add up just our savings category, then repeat everything for the essentials and the lifestyle. So let's go up here and click on our FX icon, do a search for the sum if, click go, then OK. And from here, it's just fill in the blanks. For the range, let's select the cells that contain our drop down choices. For the criteria, we can type out savings. And for the sum range, let's select the numbers in the expense column. So from here, it's just a rinse and repeat. Let's build a sum if for our essentials and one more time for our lifestyle. Okay, so if we got this right, when we type out an expense amount and choose a category, you'll see the total displayed in the appropriate spot over here. All right, the next step is going to be building a formula that will show us the percentage breakdown of each of our individual expenses so we can see how much money is really being spent. To calculate the percentage, make sure you're in the appropriate cell, then type an equal sign, click on the expense amount, and let's divide that by our income. After you click on our income cell, go ahead and press F4 to lock it in, press enter, then just copy down the formula. All right, at this point, how about we take our budget for a test drive by putting in some numbers just to see how everything works. And for the sake of time, I'll put in some expenses, categorize them, type in the amount, and while we're at it, type in a couple income streams. So once our numbers are complete, you can see how the actual spending is lining up with your goals. Yet, how about we go one step further and create a chart which will make our comparisons a lot easier. There are a few ways to create the chart, yet the theme of the day is simplicity. So how about we click down here around cell A35 and we can build an area for the chart source data. We can begin by selecting our categories of savings, essential, and lifestyle, then do a simple copy and paste. Next, let's type out some column labels by typing goals here, then jumping next door and typing out incurred. Next, let's go up here and select our goal values and copy them, but we don't want to paste them because the numbers will change throughout the month. So instead, let's create a link by going up here and selecting paste, paste special, then paste link. Next, let's do the same thing with our expenses by selecting them, then copy, click down here, paste, paste special, paste link. So that completes the source data. Next, let's build our chart by selecting the data, then choosing insert chart, then go over here to the column graph. And how about we go with this one right here? And the final step is to change the colors. To do that, we can right click on a bar, then choose format data series. Over here on the right, you want to click the paint bucket icon, then choose a color of your liking. Yet for today, this is for goals, so green makes sense. So let's go with that one. And we'll do this one more time for the expenses. We can right click on the bar, format data series, click the paint bucket, choose the color, and there we go. For our final step, how about we clean things up a bit? And one choice we have is to select the chart data, then make the font white to camouflage it. We can also move the chart around, maybe drag some data around. But for the most part, that will pretty much take care of our simple budget. So with any luck, this video has helped you out. And if you want to learn how to create a simple stock portfolio tracker in Excel, watch this video.